hello again welcome back to great signature in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i um simmer and save my tomatoes all right so i'll show you how to peel simmer and save tomatoes all right guys so when you go out and you get a box of tomatoes or tomatoes on sale on offer do not let it go past you. No, buy it and make something out of it. All right. So this is a box of tomatoes right here. It looks so fresh. It is. It is very fresh. As you can see, they're still okay. They're not off. They're not soft. No, it's still hard. It's still okay. It's still perfect and healthy. So this box of tomatoes is something that I always pay um eight pound ninety nine four but today i went to town not no not today yesterday i went to town and this was on offer for two pound ninety nine and i was like no i will not let you pass me by so i bought one box of that and i brought it home so guys come with me to my kitchen and see what i did with this fresh beautiful tomatoes right here all right, so I'll start off by washing my tomatoes. Make sure you wash it. You give it a proper wash, all right? So after washing it, I'll then pour on it some boiling water. Cover it to keep the heat trap in there. Let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, I will then pour the water off it or strain the water. And look at that. As you can see, there are cracks on the tomatoes already. This makes the peeling so easy and simple. All right. So I'll start peeling the skin off it. You can also blend it with the skin on and then and pass it through a, a strainer. Okay, but I prefer peeling it first before blending it. So I'll keep peeling until I finish peeling all the tomatoes. All right, so after peeling, it's time to blend. After blending it, I will then pour it into a pot and then simmer it on a medium heat for about an hour. This does not take less than an hour now.
So this has been simmering for the past 30 minutes and it is halfway through. So look at that. It was on top, but look at how um, the level or the, um, yeah, the level that it has come down to. So I'll push all that in the side. I'll push everything in there. Um, okay, so it's been um, 50 minutes and I'll leave it for another 10 more minutes. And my sauce should be ready. All right, so here you are. It takes exactly one hour. And this is how much tomatoes I got from that. And I did not use all the box, okay? I left some for other stuff. All right, so at this point, I will scoop it into my um, microwavable container and then put it aside. So you can leave it this way if you want to. And if you don't want the seeds in there, just pass it, uh, pass this through a strainer to get the seeds. I do that especially for my soup. The part that I'll be using for soup, I make sure that I pass it through a strainer to get rid of the seed. But if I'm using it for my stew, I just use it as it is. Because before the stew will be ready, the seeds will disappear. You will not see it anywhere. All right. So this is what I do. I will then um, leave this on my worktop to rest for about 30 to 40 minutes. You make sure that it cools down completely. All right. So now I'm going to strain the parts that um, I will be using for my soup. I'll pass those through the um, strainer to get rid of the seed. And this is how much seed I got from that. And here you are. So I'll, I'll pour this into my thick container. And here you are. My sauce or my cement tomato is ready. And guys, I like doing this because this helps me a lot. It saves time when I'm cooking. It cuts down my cooking time. It, 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 it makes me, um, um, it fastens my cooking time, all right? So yes, here you are. Look at how beautiful and nice this sauce is. This is very helpful. All right, so that's the one with the seed, and this is the ones without the seed. Okay, so you can do it whichever way you like it. And here I have my sauce. Look at how beautiful and nice this is. And guys, I did not use all the box of tomatoes, okay? So I left two, um, two bunch, which is about 10 pieces. Yeah, so that's it there. This is what I left for other stuff, like making my hot pepper. All right, so that's it for today's video. If today is your first time stopping by, a very warm welcome to Great Signature. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell. So anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified, all right? And to my subscribers, thank you so much for your support to this channel. I really appreciate it. Guys, do not forget to share my videos with your family and friends. I will see you again in my next one. Bye-bye.